Have you ever wondered how developers can add features like security and traffic control to their apps without spending weeks or months coding? With Kong's API Gateway, plugins are the answer. Before we dive into the demo, let's use a simple analogy. Imagine your application is a secure office building and the API is the main entrance lobby. Kong Gateway is the head of security you've hired to manage that lobby. But the head of security needs a team and tools, right? They need a guard at a turnstile, managing the flow of traffic, and a system to scan employee badges. That team, the specialized equipment, those are your Kong plugins. So let's see this in action. I'm here in Kong Connect with my API gateway, and I have this route called Lobby exposed. That's going to forward requests to our Kong Office gateway service. But currently, I don't have any plugins attached. So if I go into Insomnia, which is Kong's API design and testing tool, we see that we're going to hit this endpoint. And since we have no plugins attached, I can send as many requests as I want with no authentication, no author authorization. So it's obviously fast, but not very secure. So let's go and equip our secured desk by adding a few plugins. So our first plugin we want to add is going to be the rate limiting plugin. So here I'm just going to say we can allow five requests every minute. Once I save that and enable it, I can go back to Insomnia and send requests. But if I send too many, we see that we get the 429 too many requests because that rate limit has been exceeded. So we just protected our application from getting overwhelmed and it took less than a minute. So managing traffic flow is great, but letting anyone walk in the door is gonna be a problem. So we need some sort of a security system. And so for that, we're gonna use a plugin called key authentication. So if I go ahead and save that, now that we've added key authentication, we're not just allowing anything to go through. So if I go back to Insomnia and I send a request now, we get 401 un unauthorized because we haven't actually added any valid user yet. So we need to register an employee in the system. In Kong terms, we create what's called a consumer. So let's just call him employee one. Save that. If I go into credentials and select key off credential and save that, now I have a key that's been generated and I can go back into Insomnia and add that into the authorization header. So now when we send the request, because that user is authorized, we're able to get through. So in just a few minutes, we are able to add rate limiting and authorization to our application. So Kong plugins are reusable, snap-on pieces of functionality that let you control everything happening at your API's front entrance. We only showed two examples here today. If we go to the Kong plugin hub, we can see a list of over 100 plugins that you can utilize out of the box. Now at the top here, we have our AI specific plugins with the AI PII sanitizer as an example, if you wanna protect sensitive information from being forwarded to an LLM, or you could have simply an AI proxy to go to your LLM to apply similar rules like rate limiting or authorization. The list goes on and on, and really the main focus is to enable your developers to build the business logic and not focus on common configuration.